Hey, it's Chris, I hope you're well. As we all know, complying with manufacturer's stock requirement is a must if you don't want to damage pricey bike parts. If you want to comply in style, let me introduce to you Junior's brand new electronic torque wrenches. Junior's electronic torque wrenches are specially designed to work on bikes with ergonomics and precision in mind. As with all Junior tools, we set a priority on quality and durability. To ensure easy reading, we set an LCD display on the torque wrench. In regards to torque limits, the smaller version of the wrench can go from 1 to 20 newton meters. The larger version of the wrench can go from 4.3 to 85 newton meters. The larger version of the wrench features a half inch square. The smaller version, a quarter inch square. Sockets can be installed and secured without any adapters. Power on the wrench by pressing the C button. It will power off automatically after 5 minutes. Unit selection can be made in newton meters, in inch pounds, in foot pounds, and in kilogram centimeters. To set a torque limit, reset the wrench by pressing the C button. Torque limit can be increased by pressing the top arrow, and decreased by pressing the bottom arrow. The electronic torque wrench can be used in pick hold or on track mode. To select the operation mode, click on the US button. Then, click the top or bottom row to select the P for pick hold or the T for track mode. Then click twice on the US button to validate the operation mode and reset the wrench. To use the wrench, set the torque limit. Then click the C button without applying any force on the wrench. At this point, you can tighten. A green light and beeping sound will come off when approaching torque limit. A red light and a continuous beeping sound will come off once the torque is achieved. Torque can be applied and measured clockwise and anti-clockwise. Once again, make sure you reset the wrench by pressing the C button without applying any force before tightening a bolt or a screw. All good, definitely classy, don't you think? Feel free to leave a comment below and tell us about it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.